a new concern for Texas schools, an unmet need for bilingual teachers. Well, I think first of all that we're in the same boat as every other school district out there. And pay isn't the only problem, how the cost of certification is becoming a roadblock. We hear so much about the great divide in politics, but the search for solutions reveals some common ground. The big ideas where Texans actually agree and how a new poll could be a roadmap for state leaders. Some candidates pin their hopes on winning the votes of young Texans, but that's not easy. We look at the challenge of getting young voters to show up at the polls. We've told you how critical data on maternal health has been delayed at the state, how it could affect funding to help pregnant women and new moms in Texas. Produced from the Capitol in Austin and airing statewide, this is the award-winning State of Texas. Hello and thank you for joining us. I'm Josh Hinkle. In just over two weeks, Texans will begin early voting to decide who will represent them in Congress and at the state capitol. Some of those candidates are counting on young voters to push them to victory. But as Monica Madden shows us, there are big challenges for any candidate chasing those votes. On college campuses across Texas, thank you for being a voter. You'll find campaign workers like Nancy Hurd. So I personally registered about 300 with our group. She's focusing on young voters. And so is the man she's supporting for governor. You all with me on this? Yeah. Beto O'Rourke's current campaign swing, catering to college kids in Texas. Our generation is getting ready to do a lot of changing. So for him to be able to talk to us directly and come speak to us, is really amazing. While the Democrat was hitting several campuses in central Austin, Governor Abbott spoke to business leaders in East Texas, sticking to messages that won him his seat in the last two election cycles. I am running for re-election to keep those hard-working jobs alive and well in the great state of Texas. And attacking O'Rourke. It could all be destroyed if someone gets into office that would destroy the policies that have made Texas number one for business. O'Rourke is spending a lot of his time on college voters. The question is, will enough turn out for him? People between the age of like 18 and 29 are the lowest age cohort in terms of voter turnout. Despite historically lower turnout for young voters, experts say the effort is still worth a shot. There's gonna be some change in this country to come for sure, especially yeah. with our generation. Monica Madden for State of Texas. More Texas voters of all ages say they're worried about the path Texas is on. New polling from the nonpartisan nonprofit group Texas 2036 found 93% of Texas voters expressed concern about the state's future. 38% said they're extremely concerned. That's up from 25% this time last year. The concern cuts across party lines, but the poll also found common ground for potential policy solutions in areas like education, health care, and public safety. For Insight, we're joined by John Harchuk, the Senior Vice President for Policy and Advocacy for Texas 2036. Welcome. And good to be here. All right. Well, we've heard and seen the divisions over policy in Texas, but your poll found some areas where Texans agree on what needs to be done. Yes. So our poll found that 90% of Texans, more than 90%, are concerned about the state's future. And um, while that's a very high number, that is shared uh, pretty evenly by Republicans and Democrats. What's interesting about it is they also agree not just on concern, but solutions. So when we look at things like education, water, criminal justice, workforce training, these big things out there that the legislature can address next session, a lot of these things 80% of Texans are ready to support. And part of the poll focused on policies to improve education, as you mentioned, and workforce development. What stood out there mostly to you? Well, when we asked Texans how they wanted to spend the budget surplus, it was very clear. Number one on their list was public education. They want to pay teachers more, both, both across the board and merit-based teacher pay. They support an assessment accountability system that allows for transparency in how those dollars are being spent. And they want to make sure that we're investing in workforce training that results in good paying job for Texans. What about in regard to health care? On health care, one of the things that really came clear in our data is how people are making choices about their, their finances. And, and the lack of knowledge about final pricing is causing a lot of Texans not to seek the care that they need. 
So it was about a third of Texans have skipped care because they did not know the cost, and this is exceptionally high among moms, where about half of Texas moms, because they did not know what the final cost of that care would be, chose not to get care. Where do Texans agree when it comes to public safety? On public safety, Texans trust their police, but they agree that there are uh, transparency measures and additional efforts that can be uh, made to stop having dishonorably discharged police officers rehired in other jurisdictions that are, again, overwhelmingly supported by 80 plus percent of Texans. Well, you know, we're coming up on a legislative session. What needs to happen to reach some of these goals in the session? You know, obviously there's going to be an election on November 8, and our goal is to make sure that as legislators uh, prepare for January and that session, they know that there is a broad basis civic demand to go after these meat and potatoes governance issues that are going to improve the lives for everyone as we approach our bicentennial. Some of the people who are watching our program might not have heard about your group. Uh, tell us a little bit about what your, your achievements and your accomplishments and what you're hoping to do with the group in the future. Well, Texas 2036 is a, a nonpartisan uh, think tank that seeks to use data rather than ideology to tackle some of the biggest challenges facing our state as we approach our bicentennial in 2036. So our goal is to make sure that legislators have data-driven solutions available so when they show up, they can pass reforms that can benefit 30 million Texans. John Harchuk, thank you very much for being with us. Thank you. Pay the teachers more. Bottom line, they, they, they need more money. Almost two months into the new school year and some Texas schools are still hurting for teachers. How the cost of becoming a teacher is adding salt to the wound in the state's teaching gap. Many key races in Texas are happening far below the top of the ballot. We check in with reporters around the state to get a glimpse of the candidates and issues driving voters to the polls.